Anglers Extra. Thank you, Brandon. Time now for the Anglers Catch of the Day. I'm Keith Zubro, joined by Ryan Phelan. Ryan, beautiful day at the ballpark, isn't it? Yeah, it's been uh, really nice the past couple days, so hopefully it's a nice day for uh, a win, too, so it'll be nice. Back in the lineup again, you started the first two games of YD. You got a game off yesterday. Are you excited to get back behind the plate again? Yeah, I, I am excited. You know, I was you know, catching two days in a row, and uh, you know, I was a little tired. I definitely could tell it in my swing and my legs, so... You know, get a couple days off, get to refresh, you know, get to see these guys play yesterday, uh, get a little scouting report. Um, you know, it's just mentally fresh, physically fresh, so I feel good, but, you know, going into today. How close are you paying attention when you're on the bench as a catcher trying to figure out guys' swings and perhaps holes in them for when you are behind the plate again? Um, I, you know, yesterday was uh, it was a thing where, you know, I was ready to go in. You know, if we got the lead, you know, I was re- going in to catch, so... Um, you know, I was pretty involved in the game yesterday. Um, and, you know, I've caught these guys, whether it was, I think it was like last Saturday. Um, you know, so I've seen them before, um, and it definitely helps. Um, but just going through yesterday and being able to see, you know, what, what pitches are effective, you know, what guys are getting out, um, you know, just what that two-strike swing is like. It's, it's just something you can, you know, pick up on. As a, and as a catcher, it, it's something that's huge. Um, and, uh, you know, you get great help from the coaching staff. You know, Coach Gardner is, you know, one of the best ex- as far as preparing pitchers and preparing catchers for the game. So um, it will be interesting, and I think, you know, we have a good game plan going into, you know, into today, so it should be good. When you're behind the plate and you're looking at guys' swings and you're analyzing them and different things they can do and how you can help your pitcher, what are some of the things you're really looking for? Um, you know, I, I kind of see... I think it's different for everybody. I mean, you kind of the basics are you you look at the feet, you look how far they're standing away from the plate, um, you just look how they're they swing at an ordinary pitch. You know, you, how they take a pitch. Um, it's it's honestly it's different for everybody. It depends on the pitcher who's throwing. It depends on how hard he's throwing. Um, it depends on the lefty versus righty, what your keys are. Um, so it's it's something that's it's hard to explain. You can't really teach it, and I, I guess you from catching so many games in so many years you kind of just pick up on things and I think it's something that I've been able to be you know pretty successful at. Well one thing this team has deeper than perhaps some of the other ones is the way that you can bring in different pitchers. So yesterday you start with Matt Gage and then a lefty goes to a big overhand motion in Chad Sabatka and then you have Ryan Leach and Jake Doris. Is it hard for you to catch not only for hitters to face but you behind the plate calling the game then trying to handle them? Um, I would say so, yeah. I mean, it's it's just difficult as far as, um, you know, picking up sliders and curveballs and stuff like that, especially when you get a guy like Doris where he's, you know, so funky, and then you have Sabaku who's coming in throwing 95 miles an hour. Um, so those eight pitches you get, you know, before guys, are, you know, start the inning is, is huge for, you know, especially for a catcher, um, just how the guys are feeling that day, how the ball's spinning out of their hand. Um, but it's fun. It's honestly fun to watch, you know, fun to catch, especially when you get so many different arm angles and so many different things. So it's a, it's a, it's a cool experience, if anything. Always keeping you on your toes. Today you have Aaron Garza going on the mound. What does Aaron do specifically really well out there? I mean, Garza's going to attack the zone. You know, he throws his fastball. He's got good command of it. So um, when you get a guy that's going to throw strikes, it definitely helps. You know, it keeps you guys, it keeps the fielders on their toes. Know that, you know. They're not going to have a guy that's going to strike a lot of guys out. They're going to be busy in the infield. And it's something that I think is good because he's going to keep guys off the bases as far as walks and, you know, hit by pitches hopefully. Um, so he's, he's pretty involved. He keeps everybody involved in the game. Um, and I, I like that. I mean, you know, me and Aaron have, you know, kind of gotten along and been on the same page in our last two, you know, his last two starts, you know, I've, you know, caught him. So if we can get him, you know, going, getting strike one, being effective, where you can get that, you know, that sink on his fastball and get guys to ground out, you know, we're going to have quick innings and we're going to get our offense rolling. So I think it's something that, you know, look forward to. We'll look for that first pitch strike. This is the first time you guys have had your backs against the wall all season long. You've been able to come back in games, but now it's win or go home. What's the mentality of this team like right now? Um, I, I think it's it's one that we need to get out, get out ahead. I mean, you know the stats. I mean, when we score first, we we're unbeatable. So 21 and now 21 and now. Yeah. So that's pretty, that's something pretty special. And I think, you know, just for the whole mentality, it's late in the season. You know, if we can get up ahead and, you know, go start, get on the board first, I think it's something where you're going to put our leans on their toes and, you know, kind of get us rolling a little bit, get some more confidence. I mean, we only had three hits yesterday. So we get hits and we get runs like we did YD, you know, that first game with, you know, two runs in the first inning, get run, runners on base. Uh, I think it's going to be, you know, change the mentality around to, you know, 
guys are thinking they're going home tonight and versus you know we'll, let's go home Thursday and win a championship so it's something to uh, it's something to play with but hopefully we can get on the board early and you know kind of get ourselves rolling well it's been a key all season long we'll see if it happens tonight Ryan thanks so much yeah no problem thank you back to Brandon Lee Bieber for more of the anglers extra pregame show